Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I've found in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, so I wanted to highlight some interesting poetry that I've, uh, I've talked about, or that I, that I wanted to talk about, from an author that I've talked about before, uh, pretty recently <laughs> as well. Uh, and today's poem is all about life. I am referring to Song of Welcome uh, by Joseph Brodsky. For those who don't know, um, uh, Joseph Brodsky was a Russian writer who lived in the 1900s. I talked about him pretty recently uh, with his uh, December poem that he uh, that he made about um, the Christmas season. Uh, pretty high quality poem, and I recommend that you go check it, that that out. Uh, but uh, I, in in the search for that poem, I, I stumbled across this poem, and I I decided it was too good not to not to talk about on this channel. Uh, and as, as is the case with, with some poets, <laughs> when I find one of their po poems, I usually find another one that I can't wait to talk about. Uh, and um, he, he was a very interesting writer, um, but also very dour, possibly as a reflection of what happened to him in life. He was kind of an exile of, of Russia, uh, sentenced to jail, and he eventually left um, censored um, for his, his work, uh, among many other things. Uh, and I think some of that's reflected in, in this poem today. So without further ado, let's talk about Song of Welcome. I will read it, do a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. Song of Welcome. Here's your mom, here's your dad. Welcome to being their flesh and blood. Why do you look so sad? Here's your food, here's your drink. Also some thoughts if you care to think. Welcome to everything. Here's your practically clean slate. Welcome to it, though it's kind of late. Welcome at any rate. Here's your paycheck. Here's your rent. Money is nature's fifth element. Welcome to every cent. Here's your swarm and your huge beehive. Welcome to the place with its roughly five billion like you alive. Welcome to the phone book that stars your name. Digits are democracy's secret aim. Welcome to your claim to fame. Here's your marriage and here's divorce. Now that's the order you can't reverse. Welcome to it, up yours. Here's your blade, here's your wrist. Welcome to playing your own terrorist. Call it your Middle East. Here's your mirror, your dental gleam. Here's an octopus in your dream. Why do you try to scream? Here's your corn cob, your TV set. Your candidate suffering an upset. Welcome to what he said. Here's your porch, see the cars pass by. Here's your shitting dog's guilty eye. Welcome to its alibi. Here are your cicadas, then a chickadee. The bulbs dry tear in your lemon tea. Welcome to infinity. Here are your pills on the plastic tray. Your disappointing crisp x-ray. You are welcome to pray. Here's your cemetery, a well-kept glen. Welcome to a voice that says amen. The end of the rope, old man. Here's your will and here's a few takers. Here's an empty pew. Here's life after you. And here are your stars which appear still keen on shining as though you have never been. They might have a point, old bean. Here's your afterlife with no trace of you, especially of your face. Welcome, and call it space. Welcome to where one cannot breathe. This way, space resembles what's underneath, and Saturn holds the wreath. And so that was Song of Welcome. Uh, in terms of analysis, there is a little bit we're talking about with this poem. Uh, the poem is uh, in um, uh, uh, three line verses, uh, um, multiple, and it seems to be broken up by stages of life, from from birth to to, to it just skips to adulthood, uh, and then uh, some unfortunate things happening in adulthood, followed by uh, uh, your death, and then what comes after death. Uh, could be an interesting sort of way to explore life, uh, and it is an interesting way to explore life, but whereas some people might have gone positive in exploring the, the beauty of the world and the beauty of life, Joseph Brodsky is not hesitant to show you the unfortunate um, elements of life, because 
Uh, he talks about like being born and then having to pay rent uh, and then marriage and then, you know, um, uh, bulbs dry tear in your lemon tea uh, and then what comes after near death and whatnot. Uh, but again, like whereas most people would talk about great things, um, Brodsky is talking about some unfortunate things. Like you see that pretty early in the poem. Uh, he says, here's your paycheck. Here's your rent. Money is nature's fifth element. Welcome to every cent. Um, and, and when someone says they count every cent, usually they're in dire financial straits. So uh, like the person in this poem who whose life this is isn't leading a um a very you know successful one and to make matters worse they're, they're not lo very lucky in love because later in the uh, poem you hear like here's your marriage and here's divorce now that's the order you can't reverse welcome to it up yours and it, it seems like brodsky is is talking about a, a you know, a divorce taking place. Like, you can't reverse it. This is going to happen. Divorce is inevitable. You can't just have a marriage. And then, like, in the next verse, here's your blade, here's your wrist, welcome to playing your own terrorist, call it your Middle East, which is admittedly a little, little bit racist, maybe massively racist, but, um, like, the, the person in this poem is cutting themselves. Like, at least that's what I'm, I'm gleaming from this, from this poem. Uh, and it, it seems like they're not very happy with life. And then later on, we find out that they uh, have a disappointing crisp x-ray. They're, they're probably dying of cancer or something similar to that. Uh, and all the, the only people who show up to their funeral are the takers, as they say. Here's a few takers. Uh, so people who, who might want something out of the will. And then, like, you would hope that there, there'd be a, a good afterlife, like that you would have had a legacy. But as the poem comes to a close, Brodsky says, And here are your stars, which appear still keen on shining as though you had never been. They might have a point, old bean. And um, he also talks about there's no trace of you in the afterlife. Is there no such thing as a heaven or hell? I think that's what Brodsky might be getting at. And then saying that the stars are shining even though you were never there, indicating you, you, um, you, you left no legacy, which might be a comfort to some like me. Uh, because I, I'd rather people not remember me for the weird things that I do. Uh, but um, like for other people, it might be horrifying to learn that they had no real impact on, on anything in a cosmic sense, maybe on a small scale, but in a cosmic sense, you were insignificant. And this poem is extremely sort of depressing, existentially speaking. Someone may be reflecting on their life and thinking, oh, it's it's all meant nothing. Brodsky had a, a bit of a hard life, and maybe this is him kind of injecting his own thoughts about life into into the poem, uh, saying it ultimately means nothing, and we, and we we go through a lot of pain and suffering uh, through it, which I don't necessarily agree with, uh, but I can see how a lot of people might might think that given the hardships that they have to uh, endure. And I think that's what really sticks out to me with the poem is that you could you could go one avenue and, and proclaim life to be great, but Brodsky is saying it. There's a lot of suffering in life, and there's a lot of hardship, and ultimately it might not mean much. There might not be a deeper meaning to life. It might just we just live and then we die and poof that's it anyway those are my thoughts on song of welcome a pretty depressing but a very interesting uh poem one that i think is is worth reading um uh in addition to brodsky's other poems he's a very interesting writer in in, in that regard uh so i'll put a link to it in the description let me know what you think in the comments or just let me know what you think of my review here uh otherwise don't forget to like share and subscribe so that more people can find out about this poet or this poem if they don't already know and until then i wish you the best of luck in your weird and uh song of welcoming travels farewell